today I thought I would show you some of the tools that I use, productivity tools, that help me to be super productive in my life, in, in my business, and, and how I run my business and my personal life using these tools. So we're just gonna jump right into this with one of the most important tools that I use every single day, which is Kanban Flow. I've done some videos on this, I've talked about this from time to time, but it is a tool that I use that I've created my own system around. I'll have a video at the end of this video, a link to a video where you can go through my personal productivity system. It's used by thousands of people actually. It's kind of crazy because it was in my book, a soft skills, software developed personal life manual. And then the video I created really had a lot of traction on the internet and a lot of people end up using this because it's super effective. I've been doing it for 10 years now and I just haven't found anything better. I started off developing it when I had read Getting Things Done and then I was doing agile development and scrum in the software development world. And I combined some of those concepts together with the Pomodoro technique. And this so far has been the most productive thing. So you can see here, this is what how I'm using this. I'll have a link at the end of this video, as well as by the way, every tool that I'm going to talk about in this video, there'll be a link in this description down below. So you can click that they are affiliate links for the ones that make sense for me, but you can check those out if you want to. So don't feel like you have to go and write all this down. It'll all be down there. So this one I use, in fact, not only do I use this, but I also use Sunsama, which I don't have now. I've been kind of alternating between because what I want to do is I want to migrate this entire thing that I'm using here over to Sunsama. The issue is that I didn't have a Pomodoro timer in there and I wasn't completely sure if I had some things in Kanban flow that I wasn't thinking about. But now that I've gone through it, I've got my productivity working again. I'm gonna move everything over to Sunsama. Sunsama is actually a really cool tool. I did a video on this as well. It basically does almost what I had there. You can add tasks here. It has planning in here. It integrates with your calendar and you can go into your email and Trello and all kinds of stuff here. You can have a backlog of tasks and all kinds of really cool stuff. Plus it does like weekly planning. Definitely, definitely recommend this. It's well worth the money to buy the paid version of this tool. Really super, super good for productivity. The next one I have here is Focus Blocks. So this one is actually a tool that was created by a friend of mine, Manny Via, And I use this from a lot during the week. You can check out the seven day trial. But if you think about it as group accountability, where you get on a Zoom call and you work, do focus work for an hour and everyone has their camera on, you can think of this as a way to hold you accountable, to make you focus. And it, since it starts every hour, the blocks and you can't be late to them, it makes you get show up on time. It's amazing how effective this is to just do focus work. If you're struggling with focus work, I highly recommend that you check this one out. This has been really cool for me to just have an environment where I have accountability because here I am sitting in my office by myself. It's easy for me to go and check email and stuff like that. But because you have this focus guide and you've got all these other people in this call and it's available 24 hours a day, you can work in a focused manner. There was a guy that I remember reading an article like 10 years ago and he paid someone off a of Craigslist to sit in a coffee shop with him and watch him work for eight hours a day. And if he goofed off or checked his email or just something like that, they slapped him in the face. And it was just such an effective idea. That's kind of what Focus Blocks is, except it's more than that. It's like group, the same concept of group fitness. It, it's really hard to describe, but you have to try it out and you'll see it is quite effective. I was skeptical at first, but it is quite effective. So the next one is actually, this one's really cool. I think you'll like this tool. It's called Traveling Mailbox. And there's a couple of competitors to this, but Traveling Mailbox, I use to have my mail. So I don't go to the post office. I don't go and pick up mail from my mailbox. Some stuff gets sent there, but whenever I give my address, I give it this traveling mailbox address and it turns my regular mail into email. So they will scan the envelopes that come in and scan the letters and even the checks and they can deposit checks for you. And so if I'm traveling, when I was traveling for like three months at a time, I still had my mail. I didn't have to worry about forwarding any of this stuff. It's just become a way of life for me. It's just to have all my mail going here. I've been doing this for probably 10 years as well. And it's just an awesome service. It's not very expensive either. There's so many benefits. It also gives you a fax number. You can send regular letters from there. There's so many cool things about it. You just have one place where your mail is open. If you need to get packages 
redirected to you or mail, they can send it to you. But it's so nice to not have to check a mailbox. And if you're a digital nomad, to have a place, this is a super valuable tool. If you think about just in the terms of amount of time it saves, like going to the mailbox, opening mail and all this stuff, I already have it scanned in for me. So if I even need mail that I need to send to someone else or send to my accountant, for example, I already have it scanned in and I can just send it to them. So really cool. Next one here I have is Notion. Now this tool I have not used as much as I should. I haven't really used the power of this, but I've got a lot of different stuff in here. I've got my rules for myself and I could definitely do a better job of using this. I'm, that's one of my goals is to start using this more, but Notion is a really cool tool. I just had one of the guys on my Well That Never Runs Dry program and he was going over his Notion and showing us all in the coaching call really interesting how he does it. Like you can really create some detailed stuff. This is probably the ultimate tool as far as notes and productivity. This is way better than Evernote. I still use Evernote, but way better than Trello. It combines all these things and it's actually free as well. So that's pretty cool. Next one here we have is Thrive Themes. So you'll find a bunch of these tools. Actually, if you go to bulldogmindset.com, you can find a bunch of these by going to the bottom of the page. I have this starting a business resources. You'll find a lot of the tools that I use here. Definitely recommend you check that out. And the, one of them is Thrive Themes here. So I use this for a lot of the quizzes. So if you go to the Bulldog Mindset page, there's a quiz. You can take this quiz. I also have a confidence, self-confidence quiz, but I use this to collect email addresses for lead generation. That's just one of the features that they have in the Thrive Themes, but also they have all kinds of opt-ins in pop-up boxes and they do A-B testing with that. So I just find that it's the best kind of WordPress theme. And I recommend just doing a WordPress site for your business, but it's got a lot of stuff. Plus it has this Thrive Architect. So if you look at the sales pages for my site, they're all built in that, which is pretty cool as well. So there's just a ton of stuff in there. If you're creating a site, if you're doing a business on there, I would definitely recommend that. That is the best WordPress plugin that I found. All right, active campaign. This is for my email marketing. I find that this is the best email marketing software when you have an email list because there's so many workflows that you can create there. You can set it up however you want. You can do CRM management and all kinds of stuff in there. Really good deliverability as well. If you're running an online business, let's say you have a YouTube channel, you're trying to do a business like mine, You what you wanna do is you wanna have some kind of lead magnet. So it could be a quiz that you're using Thrive Themes. And then from there, when they fill out the quiz, then they go to an email list. And then you want to send them emails, especially you want to promote some kind of product like you've probably seen on my email list. So that's a really useful tool. The next one here is also one that I use is Kajabi. I use this for my membership program. If you're part of the Bulldog Mindset membership, you've probably used this, but it's really useful because it has a lot of the stuff built in from the billing, the way that you can organize the payment plans, all kinds of stuff like that. And you can create membership lessons. You can do coaching from there. You can do email marketing if you want to from there. You can have it all in one. I don't use it for that. Then the next one here I have, this one is really cool. It's Thrivecart. So you pay for the software one time and it's like the best shopping cart software that there is. It is just super, super customizable. You can see here that the way that they have this set up and the fact that you only have to pay for it once is just crazy. It's got affiliate programs in there. It's got all kinds of stuff. It even has this learning module now. It integrates with a bunch of the email software. It's probably the best one. I've tried so many of them in the past. The next one I have here is TubeBuddy. If you're running a YouTube channel, I think this is just must have software. This software just gives you a ton of information about your YouTube channel, about the stats about it. One really cool thing that's is you can do A-B testing of your thumbnails. I haven't really done this as much as I should. I'm gonna probably do some more of that, but you can see an example of it here, but that's, that's really cool. The next one, oh yeah, this one is really good too as well. If you're doing any kind of video editing and stuff like that is Descript. This software, it allows you to do edits and transcriptions at the same time and to edit the transcription. So I know it's hard to understand, but you can see the transcription that's generated from let's say video or audio that you created. And they're doing a pretty good job of showing it here, but you can literally cut out a word and it will cut it out in the editing. So if you're not really good at video editing or audio editing, even if you are, this just makes things so simple. I've tried to do editing before. When I used to edit all my own stuff, it would be like, I'm trying to get this one word out and this will, automatically like you could just literally delete the word and delete it from the clip. So all my video editors use this software. Uh, the next one I have here is Upwork. 
this I use all the time for hiring people if you've never used Upwork. Fiverr is good, but Upwork is better in general for hiring people, especially on a longer term basis. I hire a ton of people from Upwork. It's been my de facto for hiring people. So anyway, those are like the main things that I use to run my business and productivity for my personal life. It was able to generate over uh, most months, I generate eighty to ninety thousand dollars a month in sales and profit by using these tools in, in conjunction. So that's kind of my tool stack. If you want some help, by the way, becoming financially free and being able to build a business like I have, invest in real estate. I know in this video we didn't cover. You can watch some of the videos about how how much money I make each month, and I show you transparently how I do that. I try to be as transparent as possible. But if you want some help doing that, click the link down below, and you can jump on a free fifteen minute call and we'll discuss this. We'll come up with your financial freedom plan. I think it's important to have a plan. If you haven't built a business right now, you need to be building a business. You need to be doing your own business and you need to be doing some investing. You need to actually have a plan for the future to become financially free because it's not just gonna happen by chance. So anyway, check it out, book a call down below. And the next video that you should watch if you're interested in becoming way more productive and you're interested in productivity tools is this, uh, how I plan my day effectively. I talked about at the beginning of this video, the Kanban flow. Watch this video and you'll see exactly how I utilize that. And you can use it with Simsama as well. And you will become a lot more productive, like I said. So watch this video next.